<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Okay, I'm gonna be your instructor for a couple of hours, okay? I have uh, just choose few exercise for you, which I think you need them to improve yourself and I improve myself as well. Okay, um, and we will start with uh, some, okay, uh, first warm up, okay? And of course, this uh, exercise is what we do all the voluntary, we do it, you know, and do it within your ability. Do not do it above your ability. Once you have that feeling and uh, the confidence, then keep doing it. So you can go step by step. And the exercises I have choose, I'm gonna do it from easy to hard. I see guys how we're gonna just go up with it. Then I'll make it hard according to that, okay? So I'm gonna just now uh, show you some setup on the bike. If you come with uh, So first of all, what I've seen also guys, I noticed during the rides, okay? Because you are so advanced riders. The way you sit on the bike, I see always this is the way you sit which is really wrong. What's that, a back, an arched back? Yeah, always when we sit, we have, uh, of course, road and off-road. So we are now focusing on road only, okay? So first of all, when we sit on the bike, okay, we should, our chest up, our uh, chin. chin should be up, chin up, okay? And the hand should be this the way. Not like this, okay? So always like that you sit. Reason for that, see, we can turn, I can do all the turn, everything, yeah. So you're saying elbows out? Yeah, especially when you are speeding up. I'm not saying all your journey, just keep like this. Don't stick, just be easy on handlebar, okay? Sit, relax. Sometimes maybe you need to stretch yourself, it's fine. But once you want to do like a little bit, you know, more advanced riding, so stay always proper way. Once you sit the proper way, so all the bike will be under your control, okay? And your knees, okay, preferable always lock your knees. I'm not saying when you do the hard riding. So once you are relaxed, slow ride, just release yourself. Stretch yourself, stand, whatever you want to do. And uh, as I said, so the brake, preferable two fingers, the fr brake front. And the clutch, we do it four fingers. Not dirty to me. Yeah. There are a lot of people Sorry. who use four fingers for... Uh, <laughs> Drawer uses five fingers. Yeah. And the nose. They're using four fingers for a front brake. As that, um, you know, technically in the training, they say it's correct. But I recommend you guys always two fingers. There are some people they're using for front brake one finger. So that is one guard. I prefer two guards. Okay, so why I do that two finger for my front brake? First of all, I'm gonna be easy on my front brake and I have the full control on my throttling. In the same time, the handlebar is fully under my control for any obstacle might come. Different than I'm like this, when I come, you know, so it doesn't show here because of the cover. So all this one affects you and all these things happen in second. So that second really count for any emergency happen in front of you so so as we said the clutch because there are like now we have the adventure they can use it with two fingers still you can make all your changes but the road uh, and heavy bikes where they need four uh, four fingers why the clutch lever must be full closed that's the reason you have to use four okay so this is now about the handlebar everything and about how to use this one and uh, even as i said when you go just two fingers. you try and Always the front of brake, use it like when a sponge in your hand, you know, sponge full of water. Okay, if you squeeze it sudden, what will happen? All the water will splash out. But if you squeeze it slowly, what will happen? Nice, it will drop without splashing. So remember that sponge, you know, sweat sponge full of water. So always the front brake, take it easy. Okay, don't do it sudden. If you do it sudden, like the movie you've seen, how he collapsed. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Video, yeah. Which movie? He sent a video. The guy yeah. just rolled over. Break, oh yeah. So therefore, <laughs> yeah. And in the same time now, okay, if you don't have foot, uh, you know, floor, so you have like this one foot peg. So always you should be on your, like the let you say the toes. Always your here should be your oh, feet. Your feet? Yeah, this is the way the should center, be. Just the yeah. toes, the, the front. The Always in this way. Okay, when you sit, this is the way, the right way you have to be, your feet. 
We don't do that. Why we don't do that? You know why? There is more control uh, and weight you know, on the... No, not because of that. If I do you're that... Hit your foot. You're going to hit your foot. Exactly. Okay, when you lean the bike, yeah, you hit the your foot, foot will hit the ground. Yeah. And that you might get an accident. Yeah. Okay? And also, when you put it this way, on, with your toes, okay, on the foot, you have better control to lean the bike than this. See, I can push on my foot peg, right, left, okay? That's the reason behind it. And always, when you come, just break and go back. Even shifting the gear, move the foot in front, shift and go back. Always to be in this position. And again, this is when you do the hard riding, everything. But once you feel like tired, relax. you can still relax. Yeah. But once you come to the turn and leaning, immediately remember to bring your foot back. Okay? And try, if you didn't do that, try to practice it. You'll see the difference. It might be in the beginning a little bit hard for you. Okay? But once you get used to it, really it will be awesome. And you feel how you are enjoying the bike. Okay. And uh, now we have also... But I noticed how we lean the bike. There are many, many ways to lean the bike right left. Okay. So, first of all, if we go now, if I push with on the handlebar to the left, the bike automatically will lean. That is one way. I push this side, the bike will lean to the right. I push with this foot peg, it will lean to the right. I push with this foot peg, it will lean to the left. This is now four ways you got. And also, I have my knees over here. If I just push my knee to the left, the bike will lean. I push to the right, the bike will lean. So you have many ways to lean your bike. And you have to go through all that. See which one more comfortable for you. Okay? And depends on the curb, where you go the third, with whom you are riding. This is all will help you. How to just lean the bike in any way you can lean the bike you have many ways to lean the bike okay so this is the way even if you bring your body weight to the left again the bike will lean i go to this and because why my knees locked here it's pushing the bike to the right pushing the bike to the left but i recommend you always go with the body distribution and use all your body from the hand to the toes you have to do all those techniques and see how the things will go on with you and see how you're going to improve yourself okay this is the one and uh, as we said always the chin up the hand like this and don't be hard on your handlebar no just easy huh? not very soft not very hard just easy so you can have all handling and without you stepping your body and shoulders and your arms Okay, and uh, I think we are fine up to here. Any question? I find when I'm leaning, there's different ways to lean. Like you can drop the bike and your body stays up, or you can go with the bike, or you can lean your body and then the bike just a little bit. So what is the right way or is it different for each turn? So that one, when we drop the bike, when we have, this is, I like, this is actually my favorite. When I swim the bike or, you know, I lean it, I like to drop the bike. Fully I drop it. Why I drop the bike? So when I drop it, I get tighter up. turn. I can make my bike much tighter. So do yeah. you lean with the bike or do you No, I don't I don't like to lean with the bike unless it's curved, not too sharp. If too sharp, no, only I drop the bike. But when I come to curve, let me say like open curve, I prefer to lean with the bike. All over yeah, with the, the bike. Big. Big, big yes yes but on the here you not drop, you drop if you the drop bike. the bike you go out from the lane okay but and the twist is very sharp you yep. stand up drop the bike drop drop, the bike. drop okay so you're and when you drop it you should know how to pick it again bring it back to the position that's very important which is you're going to learn it here now actually where do you control the bike you don't have control <laughs> yeah, where's your control the bike you can know I have no control of the bike. The bike controlling me now. Barely hanging on. I'm the mercy of the bike. So that's why I said that in motor racing, yes, they do it. But not in our 
surprising, but we do the practices. Yeah. So now we imagine Yogi. this is the lane, yeah? This is the lane we are in. Okay, he's, answer, he's answering your question. Yeah. You're not listening. So this is the lane. Always when you are in the lane, your lane, divide your lane one third. That means make it one third, one third. So one, two, three. If you wanted that left lane, stay on that lane. I will explain. This is very important for you guys. Okay, now imagine this is our lane. In, uh, We're driving, yeah? Because of you. <laughs> this is the lane, imagine, huh? Okay, your lane is here. So now, automatically, I'm as a rider, I'm going to divide one here. So this is lane and this lane. One, two, three. <coughs> I'm going to stay here. This is my lane. My saddlebags, my full bikes, my body, everything inside my lane. That's very important. So once you know this technique, you always in your lane, you don't face any problem. Even anybody hit you will be his mistake, not you. <laughs> so you remember every lane you go, divide it into three and choose. You want to be in this lane or in this lane. Never take this part. If you take this part, your saddlebag, the side one, all is still going to be out of the lane. So imagine that, try to use that uh, technique. You'll be also more comfortable in the riding. And you know you are safe going up, especially uphill. That's really extremely dangerous. What is it? What is it? Uphill. Yeah. What about up Just they go out from the lane and they go to opposite, uh, you know, <laughs> direction and they go shoo. So yeah. as long as you don't have the vision, <clears throat> I recommend you slow down or at least be alert for any emergency. Imagine now there is an accident in front, your friend, uh, you know, fall down, whatever, you know. You know how to just sweep the bike or stop the bike or you just you avoid that accident, that emergency part. So always preferable when you have no vision, slow down. When you have the vision, give your open your throat. That's my advice for you guys always. I see what you are doing. It's really crazy sometimes I see. <laughs> okay. We all agree. Uh, yeah. 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 That was you last year. You were chasing yeah. me. And also when you I was go going uphill, slow guys, uphill. Uh, which lane we take? Right lane. We go it's up straight. Number two. Uphill, you know? You have to, no, imagine that uphill. You're... Yeah, you stay on the right. You don't want to be in the middle, right? You don't want to have anyone come over the hill. Number three or the number one. Which stay... not... In the middle. This way you have the uh, option to go to right or left. Uphill, when we go uphill, okay, because we don't have vision from the other side. Imagine now this is the hill. You are going up with the bike. Imagine at your speed, you take the middle line. When your friends in the front already they see if anything you see from their head, so that means he's a guard in front of your protection. Let him he get the accident. <laughs> <laughs> that he said my my friend first. You first. You're in this case, you, you keep yes. yourself because there is one guy is volunteering that. He's so right. the first that's right. the going yeah. Yeah. Okay, but when you are the first the rider the or you are alone riding, always take the middle. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Any question again? Okay, good. Perfect. Come. Now reverse. Look uh, back side and go back. Take it back. Yes. This is too heavy. It's not heavy. It's not just put it vertical. Actually very light. I should have left left gas. I'm so thanks. Now take it back. Push it. That's very important for sometimes when you are alone, at least you know how to you move your bike here and there. That's yeah. fucking heavy, man. Yeah, no. Yes! Yeah. Don't tell me. Keep coming in there. Put back side to make sure your spot is right. This is the bike. You want to put it the first here, only clutch. Your throat and hand, I want to be up. Only with the clutch, put it the gear. Come across, only clutch. Yeah, only clutch, only clutch. Go, go, hey, hand up the crosshair. <laughs> yeah, go across it. That's the reason behind this, <laughs> I wanted to learn it. So many people, especially in the turn, suddenly they use the clutch. So what will happen, the engine is so 
and the bike will fall. So to avoid that, they have control. And that you need it for your exercises. The clutch, easy in the clutch. Okay? That's the reason behind that. Okay? Fighter bike, I'll come down. Try to use all your techniques, what you now we learned over there, okay? Use different techniques. So now imagine you will come all you line up here. This is your start point. So you're gonna stop there. When I give you the sign, you will come, you enter from here. Remember one thing in biking, very important. Always choose straight entry. Don't come bend or turn at you make hassle for you. You want to be professional, you want to have control on your bike, always look for a straight entry. Once you have that straight entry, you're gonna look short. Then you decide what to do. But the spread continue, you want to take right turn. So choose always straight entry. Keep that in your mind. Anyway, now imagine my bike on the turn, okay? Like I'm leaning and I want to go front. Cannot, yeah, I'm losing control on the bike. But once I keep my bike straight, my handlebar also straight, everything, easy for me, much easier. I'm not saying there are some technique, we lean the bike when we need to drift or that, that's again different case, okay? We're not talking about that. Now we're talking about you as a standard rider, okay? Remember, always straight. <clears throat> Even if you wanna go to the, let me say to the left, put your bike straight, when you set, you move the bike, then take the turn left or right and go. Why you have full control, the throttle in you, everything, the speed constant, everything in your control. That's the reason. Okay, straight entry. That is the garden. So now you come from there, so your straight entry here again. Okay, once you come here, so you should, from here, you should monitor all. In one second, you should know you're monitoring it. That is say how you read the road. You know what the obstacle in front of you. Then I decide if the right or the left. Then once you come, what you do? Once you come in, if you want to take to the right, push on the foot peg, the right foot peg. I want you to push. I want you to have this technique I told you over there. Once you push, the bike will leave and look the next salon where you want to go. So you need to pass this. This is the first look for you. You want to pass this salalo. So once I lean it, the bike will come here. Then I look for the second one. Then again, I push with the, my foot peg or my body. I wanted to use all your technique you learned there. Use them. See which one make you really easy and you enjoy it. And then you need to improve yourself and you need to enjoy. Okay, why we're riding bike? To enjoy it, you know? So do it, and of course you have to be safe. Okay, and do it. Try them. Foot peg, handlebar, lean the bike, drop the bike, again bring the bike out. Okay? <laughs> so use it, enjoy it. And this is very, very easy. And later, once you are, I see you are doing well, I'm yeah. going to make it harder. harder. It's more yeah. harder. Yeah. The last uh, version is with one wheel to do a sentence. Yeah. How fast do you want us, what speed should we be at? Yeah, be in the first gear, the beginning, in the first gear. Don't go speed. All in first gear. Why? I want you to learn the technique. Speed will be easier for you. So gravity will be less on your bike. No, I want you to come slow. Let the gravity suck in you. I want you how to, how to change the bike. So I'm going to do one demo for you here now, guys. Okay. Just see how I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to stop in the back there. Then later, you guys you go to the bike and line up and wait for my son. Without BMW, <laughs> BMW is easier, right? Actually, I train road road training. My bike similar to your bike. I know. I, know. I tell you that.
So when you come, okay, from here, try to, now like here, yeah? So take the, the space, and it means use your space from here. Don't try to go there, then you circle. It will be t tougher for you. It's not bad, you want to train, do it. You keep learning like S, you do like eight. So do it. But if you want to make it, always use your space. What the space you have, make use of it. So now if you want to come, so from here, take a turn and go here. That's it. Then again, open like S. Then again, then again, then again, then you go out there. Once you go out, take here the, cereal, uh, the turn and go line up.
Okay, from here you should you plan your way. So that from here you look for that one, the cone. This one? Yep, this. Then once I come here, I look this. Once I come here, I look into this. And I lean my bike. And then we can do it backwards. Remember, constant speed. The other way too, no? That's supposed to be from Okay, uh, always your speed constant. Here now. 
Speed was little high.
We lost our energy somewhere. <laughs> I know you guys, you're speedy guys. <laughs> but you know what to do? All techniques come with the slow, then you can do it when you are speeding. Okay, so we have emergency stop, turn, swerve the bike. You know, of course, we're gonna, what to do? That means we're gonna go first speed, then I'm the guy there, I'm the devil. You will come straight to me, but don't hit me. Oh, oh. Then I am the one I tell you, right, you, sure? you must swerve the bike immediately to the right. And you turn around me and you go out from the exit behind me. So you're going to come through a channel in and you come towards me. First of all, you go come for me, do it slow, but please don't kill me. Don't hit me, okay? Well, Why not? You know the policy. No, <laughs> so then I tell you left, you follow my fingers. Which fingers I do it for you? Then you turn. Oh, no, I don't no, do that. No, no, that was, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. You might do that for me. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay, guys. So remember my wave where I give you that uh, Where are we sign. going? Where is the truck? You don't worry. Wait. <laughs> you must learn first. You don't, don't run faster than the rabbit if you want to catch the rabbit. Okay, that's mine.
you very much. Did you like it very much? Really good. I'm it was happy really to hear amazing. That. Thank you. That advance.